Hi everyone, it's Rachel and today I'll be showing you what we received in the September Sophie and Toffee subscription box. The first thing we got was a postcard, three bottles of deco paint, one glitter, one jam and one solid colour. We got a ball tool and a foam mat to go with the paper kits, some super cute Halloween stickers, and then the two puffy paper kits, a Christmas one and then a Halloween one which I'll be showing you today. There's also a card saying everything that was included and in the back a sneak peek of what the next box will be. From now on the subscription boxes have been renamed to their elves box which is launching next month which combines the best of both crafting and stationery supplies. The website now also has a give a gift option which would make a great Christmas present so I'll leave all the links down in the description box below. So that's everything that was in the September box, now let's get straight into the puffy paper kit. So the kit itself comes with sticky foam pieces to place everything together and make it look 3D. It also comes with all the little details, the template which will be our base and then of course the instructions. So firstly take a pair of scissors and cut out the base piece. You can then also separate the other pieces by cutting along the dotted lines. Now put your template aside and create two knotted loops in the ribbon that was included in the kit. Fold the tabs along the lines, add the ribbon and then tape down the tabs on the back to secure them. Now take your first sheet of paper details and pretty much just follow the numbers on the sheet and the base template. I'm cutting out the first lollipop stick and taking a ball tool and foam mat that was included in the box. Following the instructions it says to curve the lollipop sticks using the handle of the ball tool. Now take the sticky foam pieces, so there's three different sizes, 1mm, 2mm and 3mm, so you just have to follow the instructions to know what size to stick where. You can also cut them up if they need to be smaller. So I pulled off the paper and stuck it onto the base and then added on the lollipop stick. Next cut out the actual lollipop and follow the instructions to make it puffy in which it says to swirl the paper around with the ball tool. Now add the required foam and then also the lollipop. I then continued on and did the same with the other three. Some of the pieces also say to use four mils of foam, so all you have to do is stick two pieces of two mils together. For all the other pieces like these ghosts for example, when puffing them I only went around the very edges to curve them slightly and not make them super bulgy. Then I just continued to add all the individual paper pieces using the image on the instructions as a reference.
So this is what my Halloween puffy paper craft looks like once it's completely finished. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!